In this video, I'll be guiding you through the Jadeite Orb quest and going over all the outcomes for it so we can determine which is the best. Once you get to Checkpoint Rest Town for the first time, you'll run into two NPCs. The first is a Beastern guy named Uffulv, found either inside of the Sword and Staff Inn or right out front of it. The second is a man named Everard, who can be found right across from Celeste Smithy at the corner of the pathway leading to Ibrahim's scrap shop. The quest can be started by talking to either NPC first, but if you speak to Everard and then he runs into Offulv, Everard is going to have Offulv killed and then you're going to have to use a Wakestone shard on his body to continue the quest. So for this reason, I would recommend not speaking to Everard until you have what you need and are ready to complete the quest immediately. Through talking to these NPCs, you'll learn both of them are in search of the Jadeite Orb. Clearly they didn't give much of an effort though because the orb is being sold 20 feet away at Ibrahim's scrap shop. It's here that you should buy the orb for 7500 gold. Now we get to decide what to do with it. Since our end goal is to give both the NPCs the orb, we can accomplish this either by forging a copy of the orb at Ibrahim's scrap shop, or by using the Sphinx's one-use riddle to duplicate it for us. These are the only two ways to actually satisfy both parties. If you choose to forge a copy of the orb, as soon as you do that, you can speak to Everard so that you've spoken to both NPCs and will guarantee the completion of the quest. This is where you need to be careful who you give the fake one to. If you give the real one to Offulv, he'll give you an elite camping kit and 3,000 gold. If you were to give the fake one to Everard, he'll then take it to Ibrahim to have him verify the authenticity of it. If this is the option you choose, when Everard walks away, you can spend 12,000 gold to bribe Ibrahim to say that the fake orb is authentic. When Everard returns, he'll reward you with 12,000 gold and a ring of skullduggery, which gives you a 20% damage boost when attacking enemies from behind. Now while you did make out with the Ring of Skullduggery, an Elite Camping Kit, and 15,000 gold, you did have to spend 7,500 gold buying the orb, 2,000 to forge it, and 12,000 to bribe Ibrahim, meaning you still lost money by the end of the quest. If you do the opposite of that and give Everard the real orb and Offulv the fake one, you'll get all the rewards I previously mentioned without having to bribe Ibrahim, so by the end of the quest you'll have those two items and an extra 5,500 gold in your pocket. This is the quickest and most lucrative outcome to the quest. The only downside is that you're basically sending Offulv to his death by giving him the fake one. But it doesn't have any consequences that I can tell aside from your pawns being unhappy with you for the decision. Again, I would recommend waiting to speak to Everard until you have both orbs, so that once you finish speaking to him you can quickly run and give the fake orb to Offulv before he gets assassinated. And I do mean quickly, because when I first started this quest, after speaking to Everard, it took no more than two minutes for him to be assassinated. If you want the most honest ending, you can travel to the Sphinx and use her Riddle of Conviction to duplicate the real orb. If you've never visited the Sphinx yet, to get there you want to enter the Ancient Battleground Dungeon and climb up to the castle on the left of this area. Once you're at the entrance, I'll show the path to get to the Sphinx. One thing to note is that since I've already run through this area, I've opened the door on my right here, but if you don't have this door open, you can just turn left when you enter the castle, climb up the ladder, and then fall into the locked room through a hole in the ceiling. Also, once I've entered the Mountain Shrine Cave and I'm running through the tunnels, I will have already cleared the destructible walls along the way. So if you're following along and you run into a wall where I don't, just try breaking it open.
When you first arrive at the Sphinx, she'll give you a quest called Game of Riddles, and then you can go up and talk to her. Here, select the option Riddle of Conviction, and she'll allow you to duplicate any item in your inventory for free. This is where you want to duplicate the Jadeite Orb. Keep in mind that the ability to duplicate an item through this riddle is a one-time thing. So if you don't care about getting the most honest ending, save this duplication for something much more valuable to you, like a port crystal. If you go ahead and duplicate the orb and give one to each of the NPCs, you'll get the same items as the previous outcome, the only real difference to you being that you won't have to pay 2,000 gold to forge the orb. The final outcome is giving Everard the fake orb and not bribing Ibrahim. Once Everard realizes it's fake, he'll call the guards on you and you'll have to fight. It's possible you can just run away, but there's no telling if you'll be chased by guards upon your return. I think it's safe to say that this is the absolute worst ending. Unless someone finds a way to sell the orb for like half a million gold, then I'd take back what I said. If Offulv gets assassinated at any point during your game, you can resurrect him with a wake stone in the Charnel House in Vernworth. When you revive him, you should immediately take an ox cart to Checkpoint Rest Town and complete the quest as fast as possible in case he ends up dying again. After I revived him, I was able to give him the fake orb and still get the rewards despite my quest saying that he had been killed. If you are unable to give him anything after reviving him, I think that may mean your quest is bugged. In that case, I'll be on the lookout for a fix and update the description if I hear anything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then consider subscribing because I make all kinds of different guides for different games and still have plenty more Dragon's Dogma 2 videos coming soon.